generation. Right. That's how we know that we are the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You had a, you had one last question. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it really gonna make What's sense, going on, but um, What's your name? why do we follow Paul Muhammad. instead of following Muhammad. Jesus, brother James? Okay. Go to First Corinthians eleven. The, the brother. Go ahead. The brother said he's from Sierra Leone. Oh, is he? Yep. All praises. All praises. The brother asked, "Why do we follow Paul?" Which he, uh, I, I don't know how accurate I am, but yeah. I heard that he, um, he was following the preachers of Jesus 30 years after he died. But we're not following the teachers of James, which is Jesus' brother, and he was there with him from the beginning. So I just want to know why we following somebody that learned about it 30 years later than to follow somebody that was right there with him, and yeah. that's his brother. Yeah, it's probably just some confusion that's out there because the book of James and the books of Paul are right next to each other all in the New Testament. Right. And they all teach the same thing. Okay. So the question, uh, you got 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. And this is why we follow Paul. Right? Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So the scriptures, Paul tells us follow me as he follows Christ. So the same example that Christ left for us, Paul followed that same example. Did he change a few things that Jesus said? No, give me a uh, second piece. Second piece. That's the it's a lot of confusion with Paul because uh, Paul, Paul was a very educated brother and he wrote in code. He had to write in code. Imagine uh, if you were in prison, right? And, uh, and I was going to send you a letter. What do they do with those letters? And huh? as always, thank you for showing right, And why do they do that? So they are God's going to know what we're talking about. But but because they're going to look at it, right? Right. So Im imagine Paul is in the same position. He was locked up several times. But in addition to that, mm -hmm. the Romans didn't get down like that. Right. Mm -hmm. They were the people in rulership at the time. You couldn't just say whatever you wanted to right. say about right. Rome. Right. So he had to say things in code that were difficult to be understood. Uh, read that. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 16 Read. as also in all his epistles uh -huh. speaking in them of these things so Christ I'm sorry Paul in all of his epistles or his letters his writings he spoke what in them of these things uh -huh. in which are some things hard to be understood some of the writings of Paul are hard to be understood they're difficult to be understood what happens is a Christian will take himself, they'll skip over Moses, they'll skip over Christ, and they'll jump to Paul, who was taught directly by Christ, and wrote in code, and then just stir up a whole bunch of confusion about it. Give me a Romans 7 and 1. Give me, all right, finish that up. Which they that are unlearned, those that are unlearned, they're unlearned in the laws of Moses. They're unlearned in the parables of Christ, but they wanna jump to Paul. So they that are unlearned, what? And unstable Read. rest. They rest. Rest is the root word for wrestle. If you wrestling with something, that means you having a what? Hard a hard time with it. A hard time with it. So the scriptures are telling us that people wrestle with the writings of Paul. Because they wrestle with all the other scriptures. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you why they wrestle with Paul. Give me uh, Romans 7 and 1. Uh, and then uh, go ahead and give me uh, John 5. Last two verses. Romans chapter 7 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Know ye not, uh -huh. brethren, for I speak to... So, so the first thing we got to say, Paul was writing to his brethren. Paul was an Israelite. Man, somebody uh, jump over to hold that. Romans 11 and 1. Paul is writing to his brethren. Romans 11 and 1. Uh -huh. I say then, has God cast away his people? Did God cast away his people? Was it the Israelites? God forbid. Hell no. Rick. For I also am an Israelite. What is Paul? An Israelite. Paul is an Israelite. Of the seed of Abraham. Uh-huh. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Right. Paul was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. If he was on the earth right now, which he is, he would be a West Indian. Maybe from Jamaica, uh, Turks and Caicos, or something like that. Right. That's where Paul would be from. Read. Romans 7 and 1. No, no, uh, uh, yeah, 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 7 and 1 again. Read. Know ye not, brethren. Brethren. So Paul was an Israelite from which tribe? Benjamin. Benjamin. And then he says, know ye not brethren. Give me Romans 9. Who are the brethren? Romans 9 and 1? No, verse 3. Romans 9 and verse 3. Uh-huh. For I could wish 
that, excuse me, for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. Uh huh. For my brethren. For his what? For my brethren. Read. My kinsmen according to the flesh. So his brethren are his kinsmen according to the flesh. Read. Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. That's right. Who are Israelites. That's right. So now we back at Romans chapter 7 verse 1. Bring it up. Romans chapter 7 and verse 1. Bring that up. Know ye not brethren. Know ye not brethren. So who is his brethren? Israelites. They're Israelites. Right. But nine times out of ten, if you get a doctrine that's dealing with some of the writings of Paul, who's the originator of those doctrines? Yeah. Him, right. the white man, right. the Edomite, mm -hmm. the nation of Edom, the nation that God hates that he ain't dealing with. Mm -hmm. So we got a, a, a person that God hates. He never showed him the understanding of, of his word, trying to create doctrines without the understanding of the Bible. Right. right. Paul was writing to his brethren, the Israelites. That's right. Keep going. For I speak to them that know the law. Paul is speaking to those that know the law. If you don't know God's laws, if, so that means if you don't know the writings of Moses, if you don't know the writings of King David, King Solomon, the prophet Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Amos, Haggai, Habakkuk, Nahum, if you don't know these things, you're not gonna be able to understand Paul. Right. He says, well, he writes to who? For I speak to them that know the law. He speaks to them that know the law. So the reason is that it, how that the law have dominion over men as long as he liveth. So the reason that people wrestle with Paul, first and foremost, they don't know the law. Right. And they don't deal with Christ. Mm -hmm. And if they dealt with Christ, give me, give me John. John 5, go ahead, read. John chapter 5, verse 46. Uh -huh. For had ye believed Moses, so what, what did Christ, uh, Paul, Paul just said what? He speaks to them that what? For I speak to them that know the law. Who wrote the law? Moses. Read that again. For had ye believed Moses. If you had believed Moses, ye would have believed me. You would have believed Christ. Read. For he wrote of me. Go back to 1 Corinthians 11, read. But if ye believe not his writing, uh -huh. how shall ye believe my word? So if you don't believe Moses, you don't believe Christ. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe Christ, read. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. So if you don't follow Moses, you ain't gonna follow Christ and you ain't gonna understand Paul. Bring it out. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's that's why it's so much Teach. confusion Teach. about the writings of Paul. Teach. Teach. I'm glad y'all put it Teach. like that. Teach. See what I'm I wouldn't have known it no other way but to hear it from Teach. the Israelites. Right? All praise. All right. Hey, he showed his word to Jacob and we're gonna wrap it up. All praise. All praises to the Most High. That's mm. right. Yeah, go ahead and get Matthew 26. He showed this word to Jacob. Like it's only one place that you can get the true understanding of God's word. Right. It's, matter of fact, it's three criteria to get the understanding of God's word. Mm -hmm. You got to be an Israelite. That's right. You got to be keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Uh -huh. And you must be studying line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. That's we just right. gave you an example of that. Bring, it up. Bring this up. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. Read. He showeth his word unto Jacob. God says he showed his word to Jacob, which is who? His name was changed to Israel, prince of the power of God. You got the power of God accessible to you. Mm -hmm. You just got to tap into it. It's right here. That's right. You just got to tap into it. The, the, the Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And those are the 12 tribes based on his 12 sons. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. God hasn't dealt with any other nation of people. That's why Paul said, I write unto my brethren mm -hmm. and to them that know the law. That's right. So can't no Roman, can't no white man, can't no Greek, can't no Asian man, can't no African man pick up the Bible and give you an understanding of it. Right. Only an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Read. And as for his judgments, uh -huh. they have not known them. Read. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord that can't no other nation deal with this book like That's we right. can deal with this book. Right. Right. You ain't right. never heard no Christian pastor break, bring out the word like this. Right. Because right. the understanding won't give it to him. That's right. What, what's the one that say, uh, uh, keep it the law, you had an understanding? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's why I say I, I think the songs you know, from what yeah, I hear yeah, from them have been the same thing that shit probably our grandfathers and mothers and all them been hearing and we said still hearing the same thing. I don't wanna hear that. Right. Uh -huh. So the, the first criteria you got to be an Israelite. This is the second criteria. So get a so chapter one eleven and verse ten. Read the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you want to be wise, you got to learn to fear the Lord first. And what are you going to fear? His judgments. There's a judgment for not having fringes on your clothes. There's a judgment for eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster when your father said don't do it. There's a judgment for breaking God's Sabbath day. You got to fear that. That's where your wisdom begins because you start to apply the things that God told you to do. Read. A good understanding. If you want to understand God's law, statutes, and commandments, his writings, the epistles of Paul, read. Have all they that do his commandments. And who gave us the commandments? Moses. It still goes all back to keeping God's laws. Read that Isaiah 28 and you get Matthew 26. Isaiah 28. Read early. Read. For precept must be upon precept. So law upon law. Read. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. So this scripture goes with that scripture. Read. Line upon line. Read. Hear a little. Old Testament a little. And thou a little. New Testament a little. Mm -hmm. That's how you get the understanding of the book. You got to be an Israelite. You got to be keeping God's law. So you got more, you got access to more understanding than the next brother just because you got a beard on your face. Right. That's how the Lord get down. You'll have more access to understanding this book if you don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster anymore. Right. And guess what? You get even more understanding of this book when you start to apply God's feast days. Mm -hmm. When you say to hell with Thanksgiving, those was my people that got killed by my slave master. I ain't I doing celebrate that. that no way. Good, but you got to replace it with something because God commanded you to celebrate certain things. The feast of dedication is one of the customs of our forefathers. God commands that you celebrate the uh, uh, feast of tabernacles, the Passover, Pentecost, Pentecost the, new uh, the new moons, the day of atonement. The what? Blowing the trumpets. Blowing the trumpets. Tabernacles. Tabernacles, new moon. All of these things, God says that you must do these things. So it's not it's not enough to say that Christ isn't white. It's not enough to say I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving anymore. Give me Deuteronomy 10. I'm sorry. Still hold that. Deuteronomy 10. But there's things that you must replace these evil customs, these evil beliefs, these contradictions, these things of the Antichrist. You must replace these things with something. 10 and 12. Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. Uh-huh. And now, Israel. Israel, that's you, D. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something of you, D. It's not an option. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Fear him and his judgments, because he will put your hind pots to death if you don't repent. Believe it or not, brother, you're going to be judged according to this day right here. The confusion that might have been out there at one point, it got cleared up enough for you today to repent. So you don't want to go meet the Lord and not apply the things that, that came out to them. Read. To walk in his ways. You must walk in his ways. Not, not his ways. His ways. God says you must walk in his ways. Read. And to love him. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. With all thy heart. Bring it home. And with all thy soul. Come on. To keep the commandments of the Lord right. and his statutes, That's right. which I command thee this day mm -hmm. for thy good. For thy good. That's right. God gave you his laws for your good. Mm -hmm. And you must do those things. So the first step is no more Thanksgiving, no more birthdays, no more Christmas, no more none of these things. And then the next step is, all right, now I'm going to start applying God's laws, statutes, and commandments. When's the next time I can come to the Sabbath? When is the next new moon that I can celebrate? When is, will I be able to celebrate Feast of Dedication with you brothers this year? These are the next steps for you in your repentance. And that's how you enter into life. This isn't life. We're on the cusp of life right now. There's only a few more prophecies that got to be fulfilled. And once they're fulfilled, we out of here. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth